nimeen maatraan lavan humojaa kustusluvuksi. Ulovan kaadin koko humojaa kana. Opeja. Mutta kun tuli uusi koko humoja. Oo kalunju venem sabinen on tapa. Oo ispinun kuin kosi venem. Injoa iyo om shaba baba ilono om shaba. Anja vita iyo osesuli ni baba ilono osesuli ni na. Anja gumba sufelu pani kisowa ke om shaba. Sufala nu pani kisowa ke wasesuli. Kota gundi abu choguni basaba ne no jake. Ukuba yoni nyama ne kasi aingeli chili falu kuma budi. Kona ni gen ya nchale ni pita ba. Sisi kula la mungu fa songe, kwa njia kukuula songe ngeshukupe, ngepanya ngepai, ingefelo ngolo kwe, ya ufaga la ngefelo mama la, kukuwa ingefelo ngoli ya fuka mama, ba fuka ba fide yurenge na mama, na tisha kukuwa, kukuwa pola yoka fanya kwa mbati kuna mbuli, ya ufaga yoka kwa mbati. Ada ukola yang mau masuk pun tak boleh. Nak kau faham mana itu bukti? Lupa nak kau faham orang bela apa? Lupa nak hati suruh insaf apa? Maka lugu orang bela lugu fasi sano, nama je sano untuk. Nak boleh lepas bukti kos ni kau ini orang kau ini kosnya tu Yesus Kristus. Nak kau orang kau dah lalu nak tak? Aba tangu yao, ibani ni kuni le ni ena kusemiswa, ni kule sa ubani jamse benzi nguo sama cha shonge, ni sa zinje ukuwa unza muino, hali yao ingo ingenda unosi. Let us pray. Gracious and wonderful God, giver of life and the maker of heaven and earth, we are gathered here this afternoon to pay respect to this your son, your servant, and your child, who it has become befitting to you in your divine glory that you call him to the higher places. Here, Lord, we commend to you, especially this family, the Jungle family, and all the friends and relatives of that home, that we are the God who is able to dispense your comforting love upon them, so that as they cry for the departure of this their loved one, that you may wipe their tears. As their hearts are hurting at this moment, come closer and be the God who provides the pastoral care. As they come and ask questions on you, let you be the God who gives the answer. When their faith is beginning to be shaken, you are the only God who can strengthen them. We commend this, your son, to your care. May you, Lord, as we believe, that those who die in you, you've got a special place for them. It is for that reason you say in the book of John, Yemkap juni lusele la yona, ukuza apa ni koyo kwe kona na, obanguwe kumi kuwe inyani so. You are the only God. Receive the soul of Songezo into your temple gates, and put him to the place where all those saints who died in you, you have put them. Respond as you say in the Revelation chapter 7, verse 13. The valley is really very good in this city. Obanina abo abo fatim ubezim shope. Katim bendulong abo abo tumayo embande zilin in uliyom shlava. Ubabonan zin gogo abo salambi abo sangham. Ubabonan zin elanga and sabachis. May you take this servant into that glorious place. And make Songhezo to be the citizen of your glorious temple that you, your God, you sit there in your holy throne. So that you give him the everlasting eternity. So that he can be there 
although his remains will remain in this world, may his soul rest in your hands. In the God of today in this program, we ask you, Lord, to be with each and every speaker so that whatever words will come out of each one of them will be the words of comfort for the loss that we have experienced. We lift this service to your care. Bless each and every one of us as we ask all these things. In the name of the Father, the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit, you be one God. foremost, we want to express our sincere thanks to you. The 
and is led by the Treasurer General of the Port, Mashapile. Malenji Kalama Tianguis, Kabane Uzizi, Senamuke, and the Wenda Longo Lemon, Okuamuke, and the only one who can be Unamuke. take us through his history as an activist, leader, and revolutionary in National Liberation Struggle. So I'm not going to do that. Comrade Ongezo, through active participation in the struggle for national liberation and economic emancipation, have written his own history. He was a committed fighter against racial, gender, and class oppression and, and exploitation. Very much committed and dedicated to the task and responsibility of renewing the ANC, especially in the Western Cape. Songhezo never allowed himself to He refused to be controlled by factions and cliques. Majiba ni ulumdu uluana ye. Ye preferences, ne positions, ne policy. E mutweni kodwa akana nga nawe. Ndiyo kuneka sifu ni lapa uye. Uye. Umatibebe understand uba. Umajiba understood that. He was an independent thinker, very principled, not afraid to voice his opinions on many issues of our society, not afraid to admit his mistakes and correct them. One of Kongre Songhezo's traits was to continually sharpen his understanding of South, South African revolution and the world. He was a keen reader of revolutionary theory, always improving his understanding of the NDR and its challenges. In his last days, as a member of the Interim Provincial Committee, he was concerned about gatekeeping in the region and branches of the ANC. He always challenged us, as our membership and branch secretaries, to be able to, to utilize the new membership system, to free themselves from being slaves of factions and those who use money to manipulate the processes of the African National Congress. He hated a divided ANC as he maintained that a divided ANC cannot advance the national democratic revolution. It's incapable of transforming the country despite adopting its radical revolution on transforming the economy to benefit the poor majority of our he cautioned us that we will never see the day of implementing policies of the ANC and transforming them, transforming them into making sure that the society we are living in today is better. Equally so, he warned us that it is going 
Social Democratic Revolution Force. His conduct and discipline leave lessons for us that revolutionaries do not derive joy at, at misfortune of their comrades. Neither do they laugh at misfortune, misfortune of their fellow combatants. When such happens, revolutionary consciousness and solidarity to each other have left us. And the National Democratic Revolution is in danger. We must know and realize that we are in mercy of our enemies. Comrade Song has always reminded us to remain committed to the National Democratic Revolution and its conduct, the economic emancipation of our people. He was concerned about the inability of the African National Congress to restructure our economy. He constantly championed for change in ownership patterns of our economy. While he lived, he loved theory. He was practical about problems confronting the ANC and our society. He, he reflected deeply on challenges facing ANC and society today, especially his generation. He was passionate about young people, always fought for youth to be given space in the organization. And comrades in the Western Cape know how he was deeply hurt by state of the youth league. The ANC government recently have implemented a scheme through 200 billion rent COVID relief fund. The scheme which is meant to provide loans substantially guaranteed by government to eligible businesses to assist them during the pandemic. The National Treasury and Reserve Bank provided this two billion rand guarantee. But we have learned with shock and disgust that black empowerment and business groups, as well as civil society organizations, are now blaming the South African banking sector for racialists being selective in distributing the relief funds and are accused, that is the, the, the banking sector, of being responsible for collapse of several black-owned businesses across the country. Just recently, NAFCOG has raised concerns that a staggering 75% of that 200 billion rents has been allocated only to white-owned companies. Only to white-owned companies. This is a disgrace, African National Congress. Where is the ANC when this happened? It's worse even when ANC Minister of Small Business admitted in Parliament in the past weeks that the 75% of the fund have been allocated to white-owned companies. Why are we keeping quiet as African National Congress? We have talked for years our leadership here. We are not government, we are the African National Congress. What has happened to us? Have we lost our activism? Why are we keeping quiet when the economy is more and more entrenching white domination? Comrade Songers would have taken this up in our structure and encouraged the ANC to take this up because it is wrong. In his condolences to Comrade Hisham Muhammad, he said, let me paraphrase, 
We are losing the best of the ANC in short space of time. Indeed, Madiba, we are losing comrades who are dedicated to the liberation of South African people. ANC, your organization, the organization of the people, is poor without you. Ambaba Ate Kondo. Mananda! Social gathering comes on as a Mazela in Chubana. Please, please. Comrade Songezo was not an instant leader. 
leader. He was groomed to be where he was. He went through all the levels of the urban age as a young student. He chose to be part of the struggle to liberate his people instead of enjoying his life with other youngsters. He is part of that young generation that led operations. I remember very well at that time there was one operation that I remember which was Operation Barcelona. On behalf of the 
national and provincial leadership, as well as the close to 200,000 members of the South in the Western Cape, we'd like to extend our, uh, extend our deeper sympathies to the family. We are hoping that comfort and peace may come to you because we feel your pain. For South, we believe that an injury to one is an injury to all. For South, we believe that a loss to one is a loss to all. And for South, to mourn with you as a family. Although no words can really help to ease the loss you guys have had, you know that you are in our thoughts and our prayers. We have lost a dear friend, a father, a comrade, and we are saddened by his untimely death. Corporal Sangesu was a true and hard-working activist. The issues of the community always came first in his life and was always there ready to serve the people. He was indeed a hero in his own right. Kosatu is saying that we must pick up the fallen spear and continue the fight for socialists of Africa because capitalism has failed us. We must seize this opportunity to build a new society free of exploitation and oppression. Our province has been faced with major political challenges. We are sitting here with total disregard for the poor. We have a city that is failing our people when it comes to service delivery. Osatu is currently fighting the city, especially with the question of the high water table. Osatu would also like to express his disappointment in the level of corruption in government as well as in the public sector. The lack of political discipline and factionalism thrust eliminating the voters away from the ANC. Workers are fast losing confidence in the willingness and capacity of the ANC to honestly fight corruption. The cancer of corruption is also weakening the alliance and undermines its capacity to achieve its objectives and honor its commitments. Even in our own province, we are experiencing the same thing with corruption, and we await the outcomes of the SIU investigations. We have seen what the Department of Education in France have done, where they gave a 111 rand million rand contract to one su uh, supplier to provide PPEs. If you go onto the internet, you'll even find an address of that particular white company, and we are saying that must also be investigated. In light of this, Kosati has also called for a national strike on the 7th of October to fight the attack on the poor, the vulnerable, and the workers' rights in general. We must also remember all citizens, including workers, who have died of COVID-19 over the last couple of months. We send our condolences to those families. The deadly virus has inflicted economic and emotional havoc on many families and working class families. And we need to salute our frontline workers who are putting their, their own lives in danger to lead the fight against the deadly virus. It's a crime that these brave, it is a crime that these brave workers do not get the necessary support and protection from government. And that's a fight that we're currently having with government in our sister union as uh, in Howard. We're also urging that all people to play their role in redirecting the spread of the virus because alert level one does not mean the virus is gone. We must follow the adopted health protocols and procedures to ensure that we fight this virus. To the family, Comrade Sengar, Songesu will be remembered in Kosaku as a friend, a comrade, and a working class activist and will be missed for a long time to come. May you find strength in the love of family and in the warm embrace of friends, colleagues, and comrades in these difficult times. Kosatu would like to thank the family for allowing Kobe Sangesh to be part of our lives. He has done a great service for all of us for generations to come. We are all going to mercy him and salute him for his dedication, his commitment, and his loyalty, which serve as a lesson to all of us. Long live the spirit of Kobe Sangesh, long live. Long live and die for the Comrades of Gessel Long Live. Adla. Thank you.
now Comrade Benson. Democratic values and tolerance, divergent rule. It is this basic revolution 
even that song has appeared at the screen. He might have had his own witness because he was too noted in this. However, he understood the difference between a faction and a conference caucus. And thus to him, after a conference, either a provincial or national, he was able to move with, with his political life and he never had grudges. He clearly understood a conference caucus as a faction if its lifespan exists beyond conferences and that is used as a tool to plot and undermine a certain leadership. The danger with institutional factions is that they are selfish, disempowering and collapses capacity, builds henchmen and also suffocate membership growth of organizations. Let us dismantle the factions. Further, some of the challenge this generation to fulfill this generation mission. We want to argue our generation mission can be better fulfilled by us recommitting to advancing, deepening, and defending the ideals of our shared NGR, our direct route to socialism. Therefore, neither the neoliberal policy posture through austerity, the rerouting of our movement, nor pseudo political and corrupt parasitic network is a solution for the fulfillment of our generation mission or realization of our strategic objectives of a, a, the revolution. The current project our movement and the country is taking is an antithesis of the ideals of our shared NGR. Our revolution in simple terms is about access to roads and rail services, not destruction and looting of Prasa. Land for the landless, not a transfer of land to the new black elite, land to the masses. Access to sanitation, not to use sanitation problems as basis for accumulation of wealth. Access to the mainstream economy, not the digitalization of the economy for purposes of benefiting the few elite, but a transfer and transformation of the economy. Safety and security of our people. Lastly, the challenge Golden Song has leaves us with is by repositioning the ANC headed alliance in the province as the best place organization to lead our people in this province. It is only when the ANC headed alliance is repositioned. In a Republican alliance, it can be able to be a commanding alliance with a clear political program of action and capable of inculcating a culture of ideological development that we can be able to build elements for and momentum towards reclaiming political power in the province and remove the neoliberal DA, not to use power for our own selfish interests, but it for the for the purpose of serving our people. Let us rebuild the progressive youth movement. Let us rebuild this. I'm wearing this age with Steve Jagger in honor of this giant leader and that here is the moment to repeat our youth leader, led by its people, led by its leadership. Some of us are passionate about the youth movement. The youth movement has collapsed, the PYA has collapsed because the leader of the PYA, the youth leader, is no longer there. And let's therefore, young people must stand up and stop being henchmen of leaders who are deployed in government, but they must be able to define their own mission. It is either they will betray it or they will fulfill it. On those who have comrades, Dipumel and Diti Hamaka, test soldier for the NGR. A person on the source of the Uye Kuyo because Songhezo was able to update his grasp of the National Democratic Revolution, which was located in the thesis of Cornell's special charge. Whatever you say, we did must sit with that noble stone. Yes, we differ with Songhez, because one of the proponents in terms of the certain techniques at defining the NGR, we say, all those who stand to benefit the NGR are the most important. What others used to add to say, motive forces of the National Democratic is the majority people and the working class. And it's the discussion which we need elevate and stop the discussions about who goes to the least, who goes to the death. Elevate, not take it and within the historic field of our movement. Prasa is rooted here under our own eyes. Land is being occupied, we are not there. As as the movement was displayed by lumpens and anarchy. Government too is displaced, and that is why today the police are, 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 are being killed. Who killed each other? Who killed the, I mean the, the sergeant in Kailisha? He 
demand answers. We are killing our comrades across the country and here in the Western Cape. To what extent is our criminal justice system compared to upsetting our people, not serving the elite who have money? This criminal justice system must serve us as the workers and the poor. Answer! <laughs>
sloggers of our time. At the headquarters, of course, as our fellow compatriots were Comrade David Rebuani, Sifu Albert Matlangu, may soon rest in peace. Good JJ Chalices, Tukile Madikani, Tobile Mbata, may soon rest in peace, and others. We literally spent every day of our lives in Johannesburg together as we fulfilled the revolutionary duties for which we had been brought to the merciless Johannesburg, the city that eats people. Songezo was not full time because this was not required for the president of Kosa, but he frequented Johannesburg owing to the rolling nature of our mass action campaign. But that was not for long, as Comrade Songezo would soon come to Johannesburg full time when he was deployed in the ANC Youth League. Crown Mines, Beria, Yorkville, Orange Group, Lindhurst, these were the locations of our stay in Johannesburg. We made a continuous zigzag from one to another of these bases every, every day and in weekends as the broad family of activists that the struggle for liberation and subsequent democratic struggle for transformation had birthed in us. We were at each other's celebrations for birthdays. We comforted one another when we faced family bereavement as we traveled to the, our original homes together to bury loved ones. We would ultimately grace each other's weddings as we had become, as, as we had come of age and started families of our own, being there every step of the way, wedding after wedding unfolded. Soon young ones were born and we became our children's uncles. It should be appreciated that settling in Johannesburg together in 1994 resulted from the different roles that we would have played in lower structures of the liberation movement. For to become a national leader emanates from having distinguished yourself in other roles. Therefore, many of us would have met Comrade Songhezo prior to him becoming president of COSA. Certainly, I remember him being part of the COSA Consultative Conference around about 1989-1990. This conference was the culmination of laborious reorganization of COSA structures around the country. This is the mission that was led by the giant intellectual and, uh, 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 and organizer, Comrade Long live the undying spirit of Comrade Tabeh Mumsana, long live. Oh. I came to learn about Songhezo's militancy and relentless pursuit of the struggle from his fellow comrades with whom we spent time executing Kosa's campaign. When eventually I would be deployed here to the Western Cape on Kosa's duty, I would meet Songhezo's close circle of friends he had grown up with and with whom he had participated in various structures of the liberation movement, especially Tosco, the Township Children's Congress an offshoot of COSAS, which fulfilled the tasks of COSAS when COSAS was still banned in the 1980s. The first person I would like to mention in this regard is Tati. The ever consistent and unwavering Tonyenge. At the time, COSAS was involved in a campaign called Operation Barcelona, named as such because of the flames that were raging across the country from the fires that were lit as part of the protest against Bantu education. At the time of this campaign, the International Olympics were taking place in Barcelona, and the great, the grand opening of that event had, had been celebrated through massive fireworks. Hence, the campaign gained its name from the comparison of those flames with the fires caused by the Cossas fires of protest. Comrades in the Western Cape had invaded Comrade Tony and his life, motivated by the resolve that they needed a commander with real MK experience to guide us as we unraveled our militant campaigns. Shati helped all those comrades to organize courses and other structures of the mass democratic movement. He was our revered commander of Mukondo Wesizu, having trained in the former Soviet Union and also having worked closely with the revered MK Chief of Staff, Comrade Chris Tebisle-Hani. He was also very closely aligned with Comrade Peter Mkava and Mama Winma Gisela Mandel, two other foremost militant leaders of our times. This is what attracted comrades to him. And being the ever strategic commander that he is, Comrade Tony welcomed all of us and had the patience to groom us. It could only be this way if you are genuine and persist consistent in the country at a tender age to cross into exile via Lesotho. He understood from this early experience how much younger comrades require hand holding and conscious political training and grooming. This is sadly absent from our politics today. Although many of us remain and still remain close to, to our commander, Tony Engen, including those of Asiazi, Chacham, Zole Kamu, Peli Sankomo, and those who have left us, Dr. Ngemi, Tutu, Tuzelongwa, Nebaba, 
Enchabane, Totemba, Novatana, Lamla Chalisisu, may their souls rest in peace. As well as those who had served with Comrade Songezo in Tosco, such as JJ, Chalisisu, Bongani Mponki, Zole Tamun, Baba Chokin Chobane, and Nolundi Jolise, among others. Songezo later became more of a dear and it was Comrade Tony who, on behalf of all of us, had to bear the heavy responsibility of hel helping the family to close Songezo's eyes to send him to the peaceful sleep that now defies his life. Besides the Operation Barcelona campaign, there are other campaigns that the generation of Comrade Songhezo executed, which were under the broad war against Bantu education. Bantu education was an inferior education system and curriculum that the racist apartheid regime had developed for black people. It was aimed merely to prepare black people to be my order for white people. Exam fees, overcrowded classrooms, distorted curriculum, and inadequate school infrastructure. Hence, those were our campaigns against the racist regime at the time, namely abolishment of better curriculum. That generation which Song has all led managed to be victorious in most of those campaigns. The time during which we led courses with Comrade Songhez was also a time when the dreadful disease of HIV and AIDS was ravaging our communities. Learners were not spared from this. Hence, our other major campaign was awareness of HIV and AIDS in schools and communities. The Congress Allied Student Movement, including COSAS and SASCO, had long adopted the slogan, we are members of the community before we are students. They understood that the dialectical reality that it was frivolous to pursue sexual struggles that were not linked to the war against grand apartheid, because such struggles would themselves have emanated uh, from the broad ideology of apartheid, which penetrated every corner and sector of our society. The plight of school children in the hands of rogue teachers was also our concern. We led very robust campaigns to protest, especially girls, to protect especially girl students from sexual harassment and assault by some of those rotten teachers. I should also indicate that during our times, we continued with the old revolutionary tradition of the Student Worker Alliance. Through the support we would render as student formation to SATU and some of Kosatu's campaigns aimed at improving of teachers and workers in general, SASCO, to remain closely aligned to workers' unions. Long live the Student Worker Alliance! Long live! Long live. Some of the campaigns mentioned above remain relevant today such as the protection of girl students from rogue teacher elements, the improvement of the school infrastructure, HIV and AIDS awareness, and most importantly, the decolonization of the education curriculum. We do hope that today's courses will forge ahead with these battles, and as time evolves, they will look back and claim victory. We are fortunate to be part of that generation which took part in the transition between a complementary and contradictory posture of our relationship with the new democratic state was informed by the uncertainties of this period. That period now rests in history books as a time when we heightened the militancy of our struggles while at the same time easing into the new reality of the formation of a democratic state. This is what makes Songhezo's generation remain ever militant to this day. On the one hand, we possess the energy and spirit of Amadela Ufa, those who long declared that we would rather die on top of a man, while on the other hand, we have where new methods and tools of